The exam may not be specifically ordered ahead of time, rather, the tissue is harvested in the of a surgery and sent for routine lab evaluation. Tissue is submitted in a container labeled with the source, preoperative diagnosis, and patient identification information. Specimens from separate sites must be submitted in separate containers, each labeled with the tissue source. Level I, Surgical Pathology, Gross Examination Only This procedure may be called a gross pathology exam or gross exam of tissue. Level 2, Surgical Pathology, Gross and Microscopic Examination 88304 Level 3, Surgical Pathology, Gross and Microscopic Examination 88305 Level 4, Surgical Pathology, Gross and Microscopic Examination 88307 Level V, Surgical Pathology, Gross and Microscopic Examination 88309 Level 6, Surgical Pathology, Gross and Microscopic Examination This examination may be ordered as a gross and microscopic pathology exam or a gross and microscopic tissue exam. It includes both a gross and microscopic examination with the microscopic exam mainly to confirm the tissue is free of disease. Decalcification Procedure This procedure is performed in addition to the basic surgical pathology examination, 88,302 to 88,309, on specimens requiring decalcification for accurate evaluation. When calcium is present in the tissue, the specimen is too hard to be properly sectioned for microscopic evaluation. Using an acid solution, calcareous matter is removed from bone and other tissue, decalcification. The specimen is bathed in a solution to remove calcium ions via an ion exchange. This process may take hours or days depending on the specimen. Special stain including interpretation and report, group I for microorganisms, e.g., acid fast, methenamine silver. Group 2, all other, e.g., iron, trichrome, except stain for microorganisms stains for enzyme constituents or immunocytochemistry and immunohistochemistry. Histochemical stain on frozen tissue block. Group 3, for enzyme constituents. These codes report stains used in the evaluation of some tissue specimens. Depending on the type of specimen and the reason for the pathology examination, Different stains may be required to highlight or outline cells for identification. Consultation and report on referred slides prepared elsewhere. Consultation and report on referred material requiring preparation of slides. Consultation, comprehensive, with review of records and specimens, with report on referred material. Pathology consultation involves an opinion or advice on the presence or absence of diseased or abnormal tissue provided at the request of another physician. These three codes report consultations and written interpretations on slide or material referred from another facility or source. Report 88321 for a consultation and written report on a slide prepared by another source. 88,323 for a consultation and written report on material referred from another source requiring routine preparation of slides by the consultant, and 88,325 for a comprehensive consultation with a written report of the consultation that describes the review of records, evaluation of specimens, and may require more complex slide preparation. Pathology consultation during surgery. The procedure may also be referred to as an intraoperative pathology exam. A pathology consultation involves an opinion or advice on the presence or absence of diseased or abnormal tissue provided at the request of another physician. 
This code describes a pathology consultation during the course of a surgery, and includes only a gross examination of tissue without concurrent microscopic examination. Intraoperative consultations are performed to assist the surgeon in determining immediate surgical course. Pathology consultation during surgery, first tissue block, with frozen section, S, single specimen. Each additional tissue block with frozen section, S. These procedures may also be referred to as an intraoperative pathology exam with frozen section, FS. A pathology consultation involves an opinion or advice on the presence or absence of diseased or abnormal tissue provided at the request of another physician. These codes describe such a pathology consultation during the course of a surgery. The codes include a gross examination of tissue and frozen sections, including a written interpretation of findings. The specimen is immediately frozen in a cold liquid or cold environment, minus 20 to minus 70 C, to facilitate sectioning with a microtome. The specimen is sectioned using a cryostat, which is a refrigerated box containing a microtome. Once sectioned, the tissues are placed on a slide, stained, and examined microscopically. Report 88331 for examination of a single block of tissue. Report 88332 for each additional block of tissue from the same specimen. Pathology consultation during surgery, cytologic examination, e.g., touch prep, squash prep, initial site. Each additional site. These procedures may also be referred to as intraoperative pathology consultation or intraoperative cytologic examination. During the course of an operation, a specimen is examined cytologically by touch prep where suspicious cells are scraped and smeared onto glass slides for staining and examination, or squash prep where the specimen is minced, placed on a slide, and examined after staining. Immunohistochemistry or immunocytochemistry, per specimen, initial single antibody stain procedure. Each additional single antibody stain procedure. 88,344 each multiplex antibody stain procedure. This immunohistochemistry procedure, also referred to as immunostain or peroxidase antiperoxidase, PAP, identifies specific antigens found in tumor cells. It is used primarily for the diagnosis of poorly differentiated neoplasms. There are several methods of performing immunocytochemistry tests. However, all involve treating the specimen with a tumor-specific antibody, incubation, and subsequent washing of the specimen to remove unbound antibody and counter-staining with secondary antibodies to determine the antibody location. The specimen is examined for positive and negative responses. Multiple immunostains are normally performed on each specimen to more specifically identify the suspect neoplasm by providing known positive and negative responses specific to that neoplasm. Immunofluorescence, per specimen, initial single antibody stain procedure. Each additional single antibody stain procedure. Immunofluorescence study is performed on an initial, single antibody. The technique involves the introduction of fluorescein-tagged antibodies. Antibodies used are dependent upon tissue being examined and the suspected diagnosis, but may include IgG, IgM, IgA, C3, C4, C1Q, properdin, fibrin, fibrinogen, and albumin. The specimen is examined under fluorescent microscopy for intensity, pattern, and distribution of immunoglobulins. The antibody introduced attaches to the targeted immunoglobulin. Electron microscopy, diagnostic. This procedure, also referred to as electron microscopy, M, transmission electron microscopy, 
or ultrastructural study, is used primarily for the diagnosis of neoplasms when other techniques have failed to provide a definitive diagnosis. Tissues are prepared and fixed in a plastic polymer. Initially, thick sections, 1 micron, are cut and stained to identify best specimen sites for further study. Subsequently, thin sections are cut and prepared with electron-dense stain. The specimens are examined using electron microscopy. Morphometric analysis, skeletal muscle, nerve, tumor, e.g., DNA ploidy. These procedures may also be referred to as histomorphometry. Methodology is by flow cytometry or quantitative image analysis system. Cells are stained and the histologic organization, including structure, composition, and function, is evaluated. Morphometric analysis, tumor immunohistochemistry, e.g., HER2 slash NU, estrogen receptor slash progesterone receptor, quantitative or semi-quantitative, per specimen, each single antibody stain procedure, manual. Using computer-assisted technology. Morphometric analysis may also be referred to as histomorphometry. A quantitative or semi-quantitative test is done for tumor immunohistochemistry such as the HER2-slash-new receptor. The HER2-slash-new protein is a cell surface growth factor receptor expressed on the cytoplasmic membrane of some epithelial cells. This protein regulates normal cell growth and division. An increased number of HER2-slash-new genes in the cell nucleus causes overexpression of the HER2-slash-new oncoprotein which in turn produces growth signals leading to cell transformation and cancer development. Microthin sections of the fixed, paraffin-embedded tissue are mounted on glass slides. Antigen retrieval with citrate buffers or microwaving is done to inhibit peroxidase activity and background staining. Immunostaining is done by adding a dilution containing the primary antibody to the receptor protein and incubating. Counterstaining with secondary antibodies is done to visualize antibody location. Further analysis is done to determine the histologic organization of the tumor and measure its structure, form, and composition, quantitatively or semi-quantitatively, manually for 88,360 or using computer-assisted technology for 88,361. Nerve Teasing Preparations Teased Fiber Evaluation is a technique used in specialty neuropathology labs. Peripheral nerves are often encased in a myelin sheath. This lipid-like substance is important to nerve function and can be an element in diagnostic evaluation. The technique involves biopsy collection, usually under local anesthetic. Light and electron microscopy are usually employed. Individual nerve fibers are teased from surrounding tissues to analyze myelinated nerve fiber size, distribution, and density. Examination and selection of retrieved archival, i.e., previously diagnosed, tissue, S, for molecular analysis, e.g., crass mutational analysis. This code reports the examination and selection of previously diagnosed tissues for crass mutation analysis in tumor types found to harbor crass mutations. Specimen may be formal and fixed, paraffin embedded block, unstained slides or fresh snap frozen biopsy. In situ hybridization, e.g., fish, per specimen, initial single probe stain procedure. Each additional single probe stain procedure. Each multiplex probe stain procedure. Fluorescence in situ hybridization, also known as DNA to DNA homology or simply fish or fishes, trademark. Fluorescence in situ hybridization in suspension, involves isolating and detecting specific nucleotide, mRNA, sequences within morphologically preserved cells and tissues by hybridizing a complementary nucleic acid strand.
called a probe, to the sequence of interest within the prepared cells. The cells of interest may be snap frozen and fixed in paraformaldehyde, left in suspension for fixation, hybridization, and detection, spun out of suspension onto glass slides and fixed with methanol, or fixed in formalin and embedded in paraffin. The probe is first labeled with an easily detectable substance, such as a radioactive isotope, before hybridization. Types of probes used are oligonucleotides, single-stranded DNA, double-stranded DNA, and RNA or riboprobes. The labeled probe strand is added to the prepared cells. The pairing or bonding, hybridization, that occurs between the complementary sequences of nucleotide bases in the probe to the specific mRNA sequences allows the expression of the type of sequence being detected to be seen on the target gene. Report 88365 for the initial single probe stain per specimen, 88364 for each additional single probe stain, and 88366 for each multiplex probe stain. Morphometric analysis, in situ hybridization, quantitative or semi-quantitative, using computer-assisted technology, per specimen, initial single probe stain procedure. Each additional single probe stain procedure. Morphometric analysis, in situ hybridization, quantitative or semi-quantitative, using computer-assisted technology, per specimen, each multiplex probe stain procedure. Manual, per specimen, initial single probe stain procedure. Manual, per specimen, each additional single probe stain procedure. Manual, per specimen, each multiplex probe stain procedure. Morphometric analysis also referred to as histomorphometry, is a quantitative or semi-quantitative analysis done with in-situ hybridization. In-situ hybridization involves isolating and detecting specific nucleotide, mRNA, sequences within morphologically preserved cells and tissues by hybridizing a complementary nucleic acid strand, called a probe, to the sequence of interest within the prepared cells. The cells of interest may be snap frozen and fixed in paraformaldehyde, spun out of suspension onto glass slides and fixed with methanol, or formalin fixed embedded in paraffin. The probe is first labeled with an easily detectable substance, such as a radioactive isotope, before hybridization. Types of probes used are oligonucleotides, single-stranded DNA, double-stranded DNA, and RNA or riboprobes. The labeled probe strand is added to the prepared cells. The pairing or bonding, hybridization, that occurs between the complementary sequences of nucleotide bases in the probe to the specific mRNA sequences allows the expression of the type of sequence being detected to be seen on the target gene. Analysis is done to determine the organization, structure, form, and composition within the morphologically preserved cells being studied. Report 88367 for the initial single probe stain, per specimen, using computer-assisted technology, 88373 for each additional single probe stain using computer-assisted technology and 88,374 for each multiplex probe stain using computer-assisted technology. Report 88,368 for the initial single probe stain analyzed manually, 88,369 for each additional single probe stain analyzed manually, and 88,377 for each multiplex probe stain analyzed manually. Protein analysis of tissue by Western blot, with interpretation and report. Immunological probe for band identification, each. Western blot is an immunoassay technique that detects and confirms certain viral antibodies. Protein analysis of tissue involves separation of protein and glycoprotein components by electrophoresis. For certain diagnoses, 
Polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is used to create substrate bands that are transferred by electrophoretic blotting to a membrane. Patient serum is placed on the substrate strips and any of the targeted antibodies present will bind to the viral antigens. Report 88372 When the protein analysis of tissue by Western blot includes an immunological probe for band identification. The band patterns are visualized by immunohistochemical methods. Either service requires interpretation and written report. Optical endomicroscopic image, S, interpretation, and report, real-time or referred, each endoscopic session. The images captured using an optical endomicroscope during endoscopy are reviewed, interpreted, and a report is generated. The endomicroscope uses laser light to magnify the cells of the mucosa in order to identify the histopathology without a biopsy. This service can be performed during the procedure, real-time, or at a later time. This code is reported per endoscopic procedure, not per image. Microdissection, i.e., sample preparation of microscopically identified target, laser capture. Manual. Laser capture microdissection, LCM, 88380, is a method for procuring pure cells from specific microscopic regions of tissue sections to study developing disease lesions in actual tissue. A transfer film is applied to the surface of the tissue section. Under the microscope, the diagnostic pathologist or researcher views the thin tissue section and chooses microscopic clusters of cells to study. When the cells of choice are in the center of the field of view, a pulsed laser beam activates a spot on the transfer film immediately above the cells of interest. At this location the film melts and fuses with the underlying cells. When the film is removed, the chosen cells are held while the rest of the tissue is left behind. This allows multiple homogeneous samples within the tissue section to be targeted for analysis. If microdissection is performed utilizing a manual technique, using handheld tools such as needles or mechanical micromanipulator based approaches, report 88381. Macroscopic examination, dissection, and preparation of tissue for non-microscopic analytical studies, e.g., nucleic acid-based molecular studies, each tissue preparation, e.g., a single lymph node. In conjunction with a touch imprint, intraoperative consultation, or frozen section, each tissue preparation. The physician performs a macroscopic visual, examination, dissection, and preparation of tissues for analytical studies that are non-microscopic, such as nucleic acid-based molecular studies. Report 88387 for each tissue preparation, e.g., a single lymph node. Report 88388 when this procedure is performed in conjunction with a touch imprint, intraoperative consultation, or frozen section.